up in fuels and heats reaction we're going to be discussing what happens to the petrol from the fractional distillation column so with that we need to discuss what we would call to be knocking and auto ignition describe what auto ignition is and how we can get around that we need to discuss something called octane number and recall two reference hydrocarbons we also need to describe how an octane number of a fuel is decided and given. So, once we obtain petrol from a fractional distillation column, it's actually of no real use to us. It's not efficient enough to be used as fuel in a car. The reason why is, you, in the car, you have your internal combustion engine. The power to turn the wheels is produced in cylinders by an explosive reaction between petrol and air. So we require an explosion to take place in the internal combustion engine, but this needs to take place at exactly the right moment. So as you can see here, there's a very simple vi um, visual of an internal combustion engine. You can see an inlet valve, and in that there will be an air petrol mixture, a piston, and the crankshaft which moves. The spark plug which is extremely important there. So if we have a situation where we're pumping the petrol in and auto ignition happens too early, we would have something that is called knocking. So knocking is when the petrol and air explosion mixes, sorry, when the air and petrol mixture in the engine explodes due to compression and not by the spark which results in what we would call a loss of power in the car and then the cylinders being damaged. So this is called knocking. This obviously creates um, a very loud noise. So auto ignition is the premature ignition of the petrol air mixture before normal ignition of the mixture by a spark taking place. Now this is a definition that you need to know word perfectly for your examinations. So why does that happen? Look, we know petrol contains many different straight chain alkanes. Straight chain alkanes such as heptane, octane and nonane, so seven carbon chain, eight carbon chain and nine carbon chain explode in the combustion engine too soon. Um, and this as a result does not allow the engine to work in the manner that we want it to do. So what did they do and what do we do now? Well, what we do is we use branch chained hydrocarbons. So what we would look at is 2,2,4-trimethylpentane. Take a moment, write it down, draw it out. So we need petrol that has lots of different branch chained alkanes because it's a much better fuel and it's much more efficient. So we came up with this terminology as an octane number. Now the octane number of a fuel is the measure of its tendency to resist knocking. So an octane number goes from zero, which is heptane, very inefficient, to 100. We would use um, 224-trimethylpentane and that is assigned as 100. As you can see here, 224-3-methylpentane. So the long carbon chain, which is the main chain, would have five carbons in a row, all joined by single bonds because it's an ane. And as we go back, our anes are all the single bonds. Two, two. So we would need to have a CH3 on position two, and another CH3 on position two, and another methyl group on position four. That's where we get our trimethyl from. As I said, heptane is an extremely inefficient fuel. Seven carbons, all the single bonds, hydrogen surrounding it, that is produced and as an octane number of zero. So these two are what we would call our reference compounds. So we have heptane and 224-3-methylpentane as our reference. Zero being the least efficient 
100 being the most efficient. So what we do is we would compare our fuel and its performance on the scale between 0 and 100. So as you can see here, everything else is measured against these two and it's given a number. Again, the number has to be between 0 and 100. So what we would see is if you actually ever go and buy petrol, that it says um, on most of them, 95 octane. If you actually look at the pumps, so that will be very high up the scale. And now from a lot of the newer fuels, you know, the good performance fuels are 97 or 98 octane. So that would mean we'd have a mixture of say 97% um, 224 pentane to 3% heptane. Now, in most cases in Ireland, you see the octane number is 95. So that kind of gives us an introduction to our knocking. So it's knocking again is very important. We need to remember that as auto ignition. Um, auto ignition then is the premature explosion or the premature ignition of the air petrol mixture before normal ignition takes place. Then our octane number is a fuel's measure to resist knocking. We've discussed octane number and we've discussed the two reference hydrocarbons, 224 trimethyl pentane and heptane. And then we've talked about how we would allocate other numbers in between. Again, any questions, let me know.